My family tree. First, we start off with the grandparents. On my dad's side, there's Joan Glenn and William H. Glenn. And then there's my mom's side with Margaret Schroeder and Robert Schroeder. And we got both my parents, William Glenn and Helen Glenn. Then we have my aunts and uncles on my mom's side. Going from right to left is the oldest to youngest in the pictures. So it'd be my Uncle Bobby, Aunt Peggy, Aunt Jeanette, Uncle Jack and Joey, Aunt Teresa, Aunt Kathy, and my mom. Now we have my cousins that came from those aunts and uncles. We have Cousin Lisa and Chrissy that came from Aunt Peggy. Then we have my cousins Bobby, Joey, Jennifer, Colleen that came from Aunt Jeanette. Then we have my cousins Caitlin, Dawson, and David from Aunt Kathy. Now we just have the aunts from my dad's side of the family, which is Aunt Joanne, Aunt Sandy, and Aunt Kim. My cousins that come from those aunts is Cousin Cole and Jackie that come from Aunt Sandy, and then my cousin Courtney who comes from Aunt Kim. Then lastly, there's our direct family with my mom and dad who had my brother and then me. What cultures do we have in our family? Uh, my family and my wife's family have a very solid Catholic background where my siblings and my wife's siblings all went to Catholic school and most, if not all, of our children also go to Catholic school. So we've always preached Catholic school within both our families. What traditions do we have or did we have? On my side of the family, we would always go to the shore for the summer. We rented a place for over 15 years, the whole family. Then we wound up buying a place, which we had for 15 years. So there's a lot of traditions of going to the beach and the boardwalk and all kinds of summer fun. And on my wife's side of the family, it was more swimming pools. And we used to have huge volleyball contest in, in four foot above ground pools, which became very competitive. So that was one of our big summer traditions is competitive volleyball in the pool. <laughs> Five experiences or elements that I've had with that. Number one, like you said about the religion, it's just been passed down generation to generation and it keeps going. Number two, why I think we were in Wildwood for 30 years is because there's not much to do up here in Warminster, and they just enjoyed it so much down there. Number three, we were also always in the water at Wildwood, and my grandparents had a massive circle of friends, so it became second nature to be there every day. Another reason why I think they did it for 30 years is because it's not that far away, so if we wanted to go down there for a day, we could. Lastly, element number five, the volleyball would get so competitive due to most times, the losing team would have to pay for the dinner.